Okay, so in this video, I'm going to add the ball to this scene. Okay, so if you click on this sprites folder, you can see here we have this blue ball and I'm going to just drag and drop it on the hierarchy. And as you can see, here we have this ball right here. And in the scene view, if you have this problem where you can't see anything because of the camera, you can just go to this gizmos and from here, from the camera, you can just click on this and it will hide the icon so that you don't have to see this anymore. Okay? So now as you can see, we can see our ball. So the same way we did with our paddle, we also have to give a collider to the ball so that it can collide with anything and we can detect that. Now if we add a box collider to it, that will not be suitable for it because it is a ball. So it is not a square object or a rectangle object. So a box collider is not suitable for it. So for a ball, we're going to give it a circle collider 2D. Okay. So if I click on this add component, physics 2D, here you can see we have this circle collider 2D. And if I click on that, as you can see, now we have this green thing all around the circle. So now there's a collider to the circle. Now, next thing we're going to do is we want to add a rigid body 2D to the ball as well so that we can add physics forces to the ball. So while selecting the ball, click on add component, physics 2D and rigid body 2D. Now since the ball has gravity, it will fall down. But since the ball as well as the paddle both has this collider attached, so both of them will collide and the ball will not fall down. So let me go ahead and run this scene. As you can see the ball falls down and the paddle rotates. So why does this happen? Because we haven't constrained its rotation or anything. We have just done, we have just given it a value so that uh, it is a rigid body 2D and we can move it by left and right but we haven't frozen, we haven't frozen its rotation on the on any direction. So if we want to freeze this then we have to freeze its rotation. Okay? So while selecting this ball blue uh, I mean while selecting this paddle red you can go to this rigid body 2D and here you can see some constraints option. So what this constraints mean is if we want to constrain its, if we want to freeze its rotation or position in any direction. Now we want to freeze its rotation on the Z and we want to freeze its position on the Y because we don't want it to move on the up and down in the Y axis. We want only it to move in the left and right direction. Okay? So we want to move its position on the Y and its rotation on the Z. Now if we run this you can see that now the ball falls and it just stays still right here. Okay? So no problem there. Now what you can do is, now we need to make the ball bounce. So if we want to make the ball bounce, then we need to add a special, a special type of material which is called a physics 2D material to the ball. Okay? So in the assets, I'm going to right click and create another new folder and I'm going to name it physics 2D material. Okay? And inside this physics 2D material, I'm going to right click, create and click on new physics 2D material and I'm going to name it Bouncy. So what this will do is this Bouncy material will help our ball to bounce. Okay? So whenever we create a physics 2D material, as you can see here we have some options. We have a friction and we have a bounciness. Now we're going to make the friction zero since we don't want our ball to bounce. Uh, don't want our ball to have friction with anything. But we want to make the bounciness one. So we want our ball to maximum, to bounce maximum. Okay? So now what I can do is, I can drag this physics to the material to the ball. So I can click on the ball and if I go to this circle collider 2D, as you can see here we have a material option. So I'm gonna drag this bouncy material and drop it right there. So now the bouncy material has been attached to this ball 
and now if I go ahead and run this scene as you can see now the ball falls both of them collides and it bounces since it has the bouncy material attached to it okay so that's it